Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. Today we're going to work on a math routine called the number of the day. In a number of the day, we're going to think about one number. Today we're going to think about the number 48. So think in your mind right now the number 48. What kind of representations can you make with the number 48? Is it going to be a picture? Is it going to be a word? Is it a drawing? Think about it very quickly, just quickly. Got that idea in your head? Okay, the directions I want to give you right now is to write one idea that you came up with on a post-it note. When you finish that one idea, put another one down on a post-it note. Do as many as you can for one minute. Are we ready? Go. Remember, one idea on a post-it note. Good job. Oh my goodness. Can you think of the parentheses there? Can we use parentheses? Just think about it. Remember, you can write as many of them as you want on your post-it note. As many post-it notes as you can. Ooh, he's got four of them. Oh my goodness. One, two, three. Six ideas already, excellent job. Okay, let's stop. I want you to think about the number 48 in this way. Sometimes we can think about it in any way we want to, but today I want you to think about it in numbers, words, pictures, measurement, geometry, and then maybe some other ideas you may have. So I'm gonna let you think for another 30 seconds to see if you can come up with one of these that you haven't already thought of. Okay, so if you thought of lots of number sentences, maybe you can think of a drawing that you can draw on your paper. Okay, go ahead, pick up your marker. 30 seconds more to write some more ideas down. Go ahead and go. Okay, let's come back together. Pencils down, markers down, 100%. All right, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to have you turn and talk to your neighbor. We have post-it notes that have been filled out. I want you to share your idea with your partner, and then your partner is going to share his ideas with you. For example, John, uh, Jonathan is going to read his ideas to Devon, and Devon is going to read it to Jonathan. Okay, ready? Let, let me just see you guys give one, just to share with the class. Okay, Jonathan? 48. 48. What is one of yours? 48 cents. Okay, 48 in words and 48 cents. Good job. And then they would keep going back and forth for one more minute. Everybody understand that? Ready, set, go. Hmm? The 48 times one is 48. Oh, very close. Okay, and remember, you can write this one on another post-it note. Are you sure about this one though? What should it be? You're close. You can fix this one for me. How many octagons would it take? No. Twelve. Twelve squares. So you can write twelve squares. So you have some addition, you have a subtraction. Okay, you have a subtraction. That four looked like a nine. A nineteen. Um, addition, multiplication, words. Did you guys think of any geometry ones? All right, let's come back together in three, two, one. Good job. Now, what we want to do now is to share our ideas with everyone. You just had the chance to share with your shoulder partner, but now we want to share your ideas with everyone. 
So I want you to choose your favorite idea that you just shared with your partner and hold it in your hand. Three, two, one. Okay, so I want you to give your paper to the person who is on this side of the partnership. Over here, it would be this row. Every, this person should have two. Okay, does everybody on this side have two? Everyone on this side have two? Okay, that means I'm going to have nine people walk up to the front and put it in the category it belongs to. On your mark, get set. Put it where it goes. You gonna put that one up there? That's numbers, okay? Numbers. Do you have yours? Okay. Numbers. Right. Wow. I can see lots of different ideas, but they're mostly all around the numbers. For example, 96 divided by 2 equals 48. That's a great division problem. And then I also see 4 times 12, which is a great multiplication fact that equals 48. You guys thought a lot about numbers. I see one example of 48 in words. So we're thinking about that word and how to spell it correctly. And then I see a picture here of four rows of 10 and a row of eight. So that equals 48. But one thing I notice is that we don't have anything for geometry or measurement. So I want you to look at your papers in front of you at your post-it notes. And I want you to raise your hand if you have an example that fits with measurement or geometry or other. Yes, sir. I have um, geometry. Okay, can you tell us what it is? I have uh, four squares. I, uh, the geometry idea was four sides. Excellent job. Four or 12 squares with four sides have 48 sides. Good job. Can you come up and bring it and put it under geometry for us? Okay, thank you. What did you put? I put there is 48 hours in two days. 48 hours in two days. And where would that go on our chart? In measurement. Under measurement. Good job. Can you come up and put it on our chart? Okay. What do you have? I have 48 cents. 48 cents. And 48 cents is how much? You have, you do it here. 20, 25 cents plus 5 cents equals 30. Mm -hmm. So I put... Ten cents plus thirty equals forty, and then forty plus five cents equals forty-five plus three. I mean, yeah, three pennies is forty-five cents. Forty-five cents or forty-eight cents? Yeah, forty-eight cents. Okay, I knew what you were doing. Just go ahead and make that change on that forty-five and make it a forty-eight, and come and put it up there. Where would it go? Would it go under measurement, geometry, or other? Other. All right. Come up here and put it up there. We're still looking for maybe one more. What about you? Four dozen. Four dozen. Where would you put four dozen? Under measurement. All right. It, you are correct. So four dozen is 48, right? What does a dozen mean? Twelve. It does equal 12. Good job. All right. So that sometimes when we see that word dozen, it t is telling us a number, but it's not saying 12, but it's a different way to write the number 12. So go ahead and put it up here. Where do you think it goes? Measurement, right? Okay, and one more. Yes, Jonathan. 
Four feet. Where do you think four feet goes? And why did you say four feet equals 48 something? Because there's a, a foot equals 12 inches. A foot equals 12 inches. Good job thinking about that foot. And did you have one that you wanted to share that your, your hand was up like that? It's already up there, all right. Okay, so now we have some things in, under numbers. We have some things with words, measurement, geometry. Our chart is basically filled out today. That is a good job for the first time that we've done a number of the day. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take out our math books and our math journals and we're going to study some math today. Today's topic is comparing and ordering decimals to the thousandths place. Are we excited? All right, let's go.